Right, just talk about Peter Traver. How did what went into giving him the start? Well, we played a, a lot of hockey, and uh, Peter's worked hard in, in practice. And uh, Raphael Girard has seen a lot of uh, a lot of action. And yesterday was a pretty uh, pretty hard fought game in overtime. And uh, with the quick turnaround, uh, I thought Peter uh, deserved the opportunity. Um, you know, I think he looked a little nervous uh, at the start. Uh, I think the first goal probably he'd like to have back, but. Uh, Made a lot of huge saves, and he looked strong in there. And uh, you know, it's nice, uh, nice to see him get his first win, making you know, 47 saves, or, you know, uh, at the uh, Boston Garden. So we're happy, we're happy for Peter, and uh, you know, I think there were a lot of guys that had uh, great games, but I think he would start with Peter. Sticking with Peter, only his what sixth game of the year, sixth game of his college career. Um, and he's playing it here. It's obviously a big stage, just by being a consolation game. Anything you or the coaching staff said to him to kind of get him in, in the right mindset going into this one? Well, he's. Uh, I think it was it was only his second start, so he appeared in a few other games and actually played uh, very well. Um, and, and he deserved the opportunity, I think, uh, as most freshmen do, to come in and uh, just takes a little bit of. Uh, adjustment uh, time and uh, he's worked very hard in practice and I think uh, he deserved the opportunity and sometimes uh, you know when guys work uh, that hard and they get a great attitude I think the, the other players around them really want to make sure that they uh, won't play hard for him I think that was uh, that was the case today. Teddy last year was a little bit strange in terms of all the ties and everything but you were able to harness a lot of that energy and the tight games to, to go as far as you did last year. Do you feel like you could maybe harness this going forward too? I think so. I think there's no secret uh, that uh, along the lines here we've been decimated by a, a number of uh, injuries and otherwise, uh, and we're still hoping to get a couple guys back uh, uh, for the stretch run here. But uh, you know, it's a it's a resilient group and a proud group that uh, got on a great run last year and made it to the. The finals of our, our league championship and, and, and a very proud group and uh, you know on, on, a, on a certain level it's been uh, it's been impressive to me to, to watch their resiliency and watch the, uh, the overall attitude and the atmosphere around the locker room uh, uh, I think it gives a lot of hope uh, you know views uh, an excellent hockey team and I think uh, it was a great challenge coming in but uh, there's no question that uh, the way our guys played today and uh, the type of excitement and uh, success that they had, I think, can, can be used as a springboard down the stretch. I think two more questions for Coach John right there. Thank you, Ted. Uh, was there any consideration given to changing the Dartmouth game to a later date so you wouldn't be at a disadvantage because BU didn't play? And it's, a, it's rare if ever you play a Sunday, Monday. Yeah, we, it was a tough spot because uh, there's only three weeks left in the season yep. for us. Uh, one of the weekends we travel to uh, St. Lawrence and Clarkson, so that's always a tough week on both sides of it. Uh, and uh, you know we have uh, Cornell and Colgate coming up, and, and the truth of it is, uh, you know if it was the Beanpot Championship, maybe we would have tried to look at otherwise. Uh, but with it uh, being the consolation game, uh, we felt. The reality was that the Dartmouth game was, was a real important game for us, uh, and um, you know it's never never a perfect uh, scenario. But you know it, sometimes a game of hockey is kind of strange. BU's been off for a little bit, maybe maybe a little bit rusty. And for us, uh, you know we were in such a heated battle yesterday. I think uh, you know it maybe allowed us to get into the game a little earlier. Let's take one more, Scott. Up on. Scott Martin, college hockey games. Uh, you mentioned you have a couple of injuries. Is there an injury situation with Jimmy VC? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what the uh, what the rules are. I think there's some kind of rules NCAA wise is what I can say and what I can't. But uh, obviously, uh, you know Jimmy's out leading scorer and, and uh, certainly nothing serious. But yes, it wasn't uh, it was nothing to do with. Uh, we would have loved to have him in the lineup, and, and hopefully we'll get him back very soon. Thanks for your time, Coach. Good luck for the season.